Hey guys, it's Heather here, and I'm here to do my current Louis Vuitton bag collection. Um, I'm not going to include travel items or accessories and shoes. Um, I could do a separate video for that. It'd be a little bit too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through my bags and just go by print, and you guys can see what I have. All right. Just to get started, I'm going to start with Monogram, and this is the current bag that I'm carrying right now, which is the Galliera in the GM size. It's very full, very heavy. Um, I really like this bag. Originally, I was between this and the Delightful GM, which I kind of wish I got now because it's discontinued. Um, but, you know, I weighed the options between them. I talked to people. This is a very comfortable bag, probably one of my most comfortable ones, and I really like this plate on the front. Um, so that's my first bag. Next for Monogram would be, these next three are like antique, <laughs> is my Samir 30, which it is undone. This bag I actually purchased pre-loved. It's in the 30 size, size, sorry, and both sides of it are identical. Um, they have, it's kind of like a saddle type of bag, and it's cross body. So I really love this. I love the patina on it. This bag right here is perfect for, you know, if I go to Italy again or go to Europe, um, I like to have a bag that has a good, it's fastened well. It's not easily... Um, accessed. So I love this bag. I think it's awesome for, you know, a casual look, just going out. I like to go, I went to a bonfire and an out, outdoor uh, grill, grill out, or I don't know, it was like a bonfire and ever, we had like a pig roast and stuff like that. So um, I used this and I had jeans and a cute top on and it just really tied the outfit together. It's really, I just love it. Such a good bag. Um, the only annoyance would be, again, that you have to open it and close it, but for the beauty of the bag, I think it's well worth it. This bag also, I believe, is 17 years old. 17, 20, something like that. Next would be, this one's an oldie too. This baby's classic. <laughs> this is my monogram. No way. And it's the full size. Very well patinaed as well. I bought this pre-loved. And it's such a great bag. The bottom of it has a few marks. But it is, I mean, the leather's in pretty good condition. I believe this one, I mean, I could look at the date codes on all of them. But this bag is pretty old. This one's from 98. So, as you can see, um, I mean, the bags are... It's a pricey, um, to be a collector, it's pretty pricey. It's a pricey hobby. But as you can see, the bags hold their value and they really age well if taken care of and you can use them for multiple years. So that another, that's another one of my um, favorites. I probably like the Noe's and the Galliera the best. I really, really like them. They're just easy to get into. They're super comfortable. And I just love them. So next is another monogram. It's my last monogram. This is my very first Louis Vuitton that I ever got. And again, it's the bottom is kind of atrocious, but it's patinaed very well. And this is the Cabas Mezzo. It is um, a bag that is retired. And it's pretty much just open with the pocket here and then the cell phone pocket and that's it. I do love this bag though. Again, to me, it's very classy, but it's very um, just casual. You can wear it casual and it fits tons. So those are my monogram pieces. Next, I will go ahead and do my um, Damier Aben. This, everyone sees this bag, but this is the Speedy 35. This is my favorite print, the Damier Aben. I mean, aside from leather, um, I really like this print. It's just very classic. If you don't know Louis Vuitton, you might not, you may have seen these around, 
but you may not recognize that it's Louis Vuitton, so it's not just like, bam, look at the monogram. I just like this. I think it's very classy. It's timeless. Um, and this, if you do know the history, a lot of people think that the monogram was the first print, but this was the first print that Louis Vuitton came out with. So um, this is a really good bag. It's like a black hole. You can fit tons of stuff in there. I really prefer to use the D-ring that's on the inside and... Um, clip like a, one of my um, pouches, like my pochette uh, accessoire in there so I can kind of locate things. <laughs> but this is a really good classic iconic bag from Louis. It's very misshapen because I just grabbed it out of my closet. Next is another, I feel like all my bags are um, no longer being carried. <laughs> well, a lot of them. This one is another retired bag. This is the Trevi GM gorgeous bag. When I saw this in the window walking past uh, Louis Vuitton, I was like, dude, I need to have that. I'm saving my money right now. This bag is very, I wouldn't say very heavy, but it can be very heavy if you load it with stuff like I do. Um, it doesn't bother me like I can continue to carry it. I might carry it for a week or two and then switch it out, but it is just a gorgeous bag. I love it for the fall. It looks great around Fashion Week. You know, you can wear this on your shoulder, but it really looks cool just like hanging. Let me get up. Just like this. It's just a, a very pretty bag. And I'm a pretty tall person. I'm five foot nine, so just this bag takes up some good space, but it's just so pretty. And it has that amazing red lining to it very structured it is a lot softer as i've used it but it's i think it's one of the most well-made bags um, by louis vuitton i feel like it's indestructible um, so this is one that will last many years and then if anyone knows anything about damier ben it's one that can be in the rain because it's treated it doesn't get spots it ages very well my last damier ben bag is the Neverfull, which is has tons of stuff in it, and it's in the GM size. And I actually use this bag every single day. It's probably been about three and a half years since I've had it, and I really do not see much or any wear on it. I haven't seen any cracking or anything. Cross my fingers, knock on wood. But this bag is, you know, if you're starting out with Louis Vuitton, I would definitely say to get a Speedy. I never wanted one, but once I had it, I really liked it. I mean, you can't wear it on your shoulder, but it's just, it's such a nice bag. It carries so much and they age well. I mean, if you get a Damier Ben one, it ages pretty well and you can fit a lot in there. This bag is awesome. I like to put my lunch in here. I like to throw any extra clothing if I'm running somewhere. I use this when I'm traveling if I need a for my personal item, I'd prefer to, especially around Christmas, I'll use this because I can shove a whole bunch of extra stuff in there, plus I have my carry-on, and I can fit tons of things that normally I would have to pay for like a second checked bag. So I use this to fit quite a lot of stuff, and it's a great um, starter bag or just a bag that anyone should have in their collection. It's just very useful, and it doesn't have to be the GM size, but being a tall person and I really like larger bags. Um, I, I prefer the GM size of most of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Damier Azur, which I only have two bags. This is the Ava Clutch, and I currently have the strap on it, which I'm going to take off. Um, this has a beautiful plate on it. The Damier Aben also has that larger plate. And then the monogram does have a plate, but it's a thinner bar to it. And I really liked that look. Plus, um, I feel, I don't really go out a lot, but I feel, I feel like when I go to dinner and everything, and also I live in Florida, um, people can wear a lot of lighter colors because the weather's a lot warmer. So this is a very summery bag, and it just looks really cute, you know, when you're going to dinner. Um, or just out for like a cocktail hour and I actually prefer to wear mine just like this the majority of the time It's really pretty as a clutch as well But you know, I prefer to use it with the chain if I am 
I haven't had issue wearing jeans, but I never wear new jeans and I never wear dark jeans because as people know with this lighter print, there could be color transfer. So I try to use this when I'm wearing maybe like a cotton legging more. I have worn it with jeans, but usually I'll have a longer top or something where this would be touching the top rather than the jeans. Um, and I've used this for quite a bit and it is really doing well. It does not look bad at all. My last Damier Azure bag is very well used. <laughs> this one is the Speedy 30. The other one was a 35. And I'm actually going to be selling this bag soon because I think I want another Neverfull in this print. I feel like it's a larger bag for me and I can fit more things. Um, but this is a great bag and it looks really good in the summer. I've seen people carry them in the winter as well. Um, but if anyone is interested, you can contact me. It does need a couple repairs, which I'm very willing to um, show you guys, you know, because I want it to be fair and square. I did go into the boutique to see what it would cost to completely repipe this bag. It would be $200. And then to do repiping and full new handles and everything, I think they said $280 or $300. But um, this bag is well over, I think it's around 1000 right now, maybe a little bit over 1000 So um, if I do sell it, I'm going to take off the repair costs because obviously the person would probably want to go repair it. That way, you know, you're not spending extra. But the bag is, it's aged well. I might as well show this in a video so you guys can see what it actually looks like. The inside of it's pretty good. I think that there's like one really tiny spot in there. But, I mean, as you use a bag, that happens. I mean, it's aged well. Um, the only two repairs, the reason why I brought that up, this corner is fine. This corner, as you can see, the piping is starting to come out. This corner is fine. And then the fourth corner, the piping is starting to come out. So just to get the it repiped, I mean, the bag would be like new. So as you can see, the handles are a little bit darkened. So if you decided to replace everything, it'd be like almost 300. But yeah, that's... This is a really great, great bag. I just already have a Speedy and I'm thinking I might want to never fold. I don't know. I, I'm starting to really like the look of the Damia Azure Neverfulls, maybe in the MM size. Um, next would be Epi, and this is my only Epi piece, and it's another No Way. I'm actually in love with this. I saw the cyan color in the boutique just this past year, and I fell in love with it. And this is actually the Toledo Blue, which is an antique color. This bag, I think, I mean, it is like immaculate condition. I bought this pre-loved. It's 20 years old, again, another retro bag, and it is gorgeous. It's Toledo Blue. I just really like bags with a pop, and this is pretty banging. I mean, it. the inside of it is flawless as well, and I paid pretty much like nothing for it. Um, I paid the price of a like mid-priced coach purse. So if anyone knows the price of that, I stole this thing <laughs> pretty much. Um, but I just love this bag. I think the No Way again is one of those just you have to have it bags. It's just so different looking and it was originally made to hold champagne bottles. So hey, if you're going to a party, you need to throw a champagne bottle in there, you'll know it will fit. And last but not least is, um, so that was my only epi leather, sorry. And then this one is also full leather. It's um, the Artsy Emprunt. And this is in the Anfony color, um, which is a beautiful, like a deep, deep, deep blue, navy blue, which I guess is discontinued now. They just um, switched this out and now they're, uh, they have black. And I love this because sometimes it appears to be black and then other times you can see the beautiful blue. I think this is probably one of the best classic, just sexy colors that they've come out with. And this bag was the one that was always in the boutique at the top shelf and there was a light on it. And it was like, oh, and, 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 it, and the little voices were saying, you can never afford me, you will never have me, 
Well, guess what? I got determined, okay? I just turned 30 this last year. And I said, hey, for my 30th birthday, I'm going to get that bag. So I sold, I actually had a couple other bags. I sold them. I had the Tivoli, I had the Salsa, and another one. I sold them, um, and the new owners love them. Um, and I bought this. I thought it was worth it. Those two bags I was not using as much because, again, I like larger bags. So to me, it seemed like a fair trade. It's just, it smells so good. It is a little heavy. The way that I like to load my bags full of stuff, it is pretty heavy, but it is gorgeous. This thing is, and it smells so good. Say that again. Um, but this was one of those holy grail bags that I thought I'd never have. And I mean, growing up the way that I did, like in the Detroit area with not a lot of money and I never thought in a million years that I would be able to have an item like this. And, you know, that just shows you if you put your mind to something and you really work hard, you have work ethic, you can do anything you want. But um, that is my full handbag collection by Louis Vuitton. Um, if anyone wants to see my accessory collection, which I can also include shoes, just leave a comment below um, and I will try to find time to do that. But this video is really long and I'm going to head out. Alright, I'll talk to you later guys. Bye.